Welcome back everybody, I'm Craven and this is Trials of Mana. Last night we did uh, Kevin and Charlotte's piece of the story of getting their spheres. We just need to get back to uh, the Eeyore in order to, I guess, decurse Charlotte's orb. I don't really get what that was actually all about. I think it's not usable right now and the sage will basically give his blessing over it. And afterwards we are going towards Enda's mother, check her out, and see if she can help us getting her sphere. And while we are in, are in Dior, we might as well... Where is the scene? These waves are... <sighs> Papa and Mama are watching over me, so I don't have to worry. As I was saying, <laughs> since we are here, uh, we might as well uh, stock up on supplies because I have seen that my cup of wishes supply is running a bit low. So I think we might be able to need that in upcoming fights because this is an after credit section. So you know, if you get bosses here, they are going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm not talking about like the revenant we got last time. I'm talking Anise, the witch. I'm pretty sure we have to fight her. And she'll probably be a proper after credit boss, so we need to be fully prepared for that. Papa, Mama, I'm with you. Oh, I'm with make you both proud. And sometimes her speech is really hard to follow, even in writing. Alright. Do we have an item store? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's go there first, and afterwards we can go to... Uh, the stage. And you see if you can purify or activate the sphere. So we can actually use it. Welcome. Come, take a look. Oh, tells you I'll be back. <clears throat> Very well not. Should be fine. With the uh, seven, if you use seven in one fight, that's a lot of magical power, so I don't think we need it. Candy chocolate also refined, just like the elixir. The only thing is the cup of wishes that I wish to have a little bit more. Uh, we have uh, 100,000, so I think. Uh, let me be on the safe side and get 20. Thank you. Come again. If I die uh, more than 24 times in a fight, I need to grind some more levels in order to get there, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's go to uh, Grandpa Charlotte. Just wanted to check if we had all the cactus boys here. Just to make sure. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, I see you have returned safely. I brought the Hope Sphere with me! Good. Ah. I will remove the seal. There. Now the Sphere can be utilized once more. If I had not been so adamantly against their union, your parents would have had a happier life. Grandpa, that's not true. Papa and Mama were happy. Even if everyone was against them. They had each other. Thank you for that. You really are a sweet child. You are most loved, Charlotte. Please, come back here anytime. I cannot wait to see you. My sweet granddaughter, Charlotte. With this, I can reach Quest 4! <laughs> Your bond with Laurent and Sheila has granted you a new ability. Loving Miracle. 
Decrease MP needed for moves by 40% in battle. Oh, that's definitely needed uh, on Angela. The Hope Sphere. Oh, with class 4 we also get two new slots. Oh, that's cool. I could swear they were not visible uh, earlier, but I could have been mistaken. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's wait a little bit uh, before doing that, because I don't think we need it in order to get the last item for Angela, seeing as we don't have really had any trouble getting it for Kevin or Charlotte. And then when we get class level 4, that will definitely be one that she's gonna use. And if uh, Anja can carry it, <laughs> we'll give it to Shora, because healing or uh, attack magic, then both are extremely useful. And if we just need to uh, use 40% um, of it less than normally, it's a great skill to have. To fully down. One more to go. I don't know what Einstein needs to do for this. Or where? It could also be a question. Where would their sphere be hidden? Or will it just be a national treasure and just be there in the castle? Or does she need to fight her mother to prove she is a better magician so she can use the sage orb? Woo. Do you not get that chest? Huh. Go by the seat. Did we actually been here before? No, we haven't. I totally didn't even think about that uh, happening. The gate was always closed. It was the same with Long Wrong. Okay, so. Uh, I will check the weapon store just because I'm insanely curious right now to see what they are selling. Three fairy walnuts. No, we're definitely uh, in the clear with that one. Hello, dancing people. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Okay, so to be honest, it's not that bad what they're selling here. I just <laughs> have I just have better. So that's good. Uh, will that also be for Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Angela herself? <laughs> Come again. I will, don't worry. The true queen is back. Who won't let her guards down, though? Oh, it would be amazing if there was a cactus boy here, but we already checked uh, the map. There is none. And I think we still are on seven that we need to uh, get. The crimson wizard used to be a total failure with magic. He never acted like a pompous jerk in the past either. Yeah, but uh, great power corrupts greatly. Long live the true queen. Hell yeah. So, did we gather up some more seeds uh, during the other sections? Hmm. Because it will be definitely be worth uh, a check. There's only one person I could ask about this. Come on! I gotta go see my mother. <laughs> God. 
Yes, we got a few, uh, at least one rainbow item seed, so if we're lucky, we might get some items for Angela. Well, one. So that's something we can do afterwards. Because there's a very good chance that the items we are getting from those uh, seeds are maybe the best ones in the game. At least I hope so. But who knows, maybe if uh, we get uh, a location for where we can use the orbs, maybe there as well we'll find a new shop with better items for some insanely high prices. What the hell? 13 treasure boxes! You gotta be kidding me, right? Well, we have the tracker, so... It shouldn't be too difficult? Oh, Angela! I feel as if I have not seen you for a while. Where have you been? Um, Mother, I wanted to ask. Do you know anything about the Sage Sphere? <sighs> Where did you hear about that, Angela? The Sage Sphere is a treasure passed down through the royal bloodline of Altena. But I fear that the awesome power it once held has all but disappeared over the years. Huh? Its power is gone? <sighs> that means... Yes. It no longer grants the ability to reach Class 4. However, I know of one way to return magic to the sphere. Only one, to be exact. You must triumph in our Magician Kingdom's trial of queenship. There is no other way. But, be warned that none have managed to complete the trial since the Sage Sphere lost its magic. Not even myself. Mother, the trial was too much for you? Yes. I had all but given up recovering the power of the Sage Sphere. Then... I will attempt the trial of queenship, and I promise, I will complete it. Angela, even I could not endure such a trying challenge. I don't care. I have to do this. I need to test my magic. <sighs> Very well. You must return to the Labyrinth of Ice. To undertake the trial of queenship, I will ensure the entrance to the trial is open. Thank you, Mother! I promise, I will succeed. Angela? Yes? I see such... strength in your gaze, as I never have before. You have finally come into your own, my daughter. Thank you, Mother. I'm off! Yeah, trying to save the world and succeeding at that really does put uh, some extra pep into your step. Okay, so, 13 treasure boxes. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Get up there. Ah, I think we just need to uh, get through that door. Okay, focus. Let's get all those treasure chests because they have now become a thorn in my eye and I really want them. <laughs> so uh, let's just make the rounds, use the map as we can to find all of them. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be like. Uh, Tremendous high grade items or anything like that, but It's just the fact that I don't have it. It's available So I want it. The same thing with the cactus boys. Do we really need those uh, last two checkpoints? No, of course not But uh, 
see you know, if we have a chance to get them. I want it. So uh, let's see where that cyclone thing stands. Oh, pretty high actually. Still 60 points uh, beneath what I have right now, but it's actually not a bad item. Okay, I know there were chests on the other side as well, but there are still so many more places in this castle we can look to find those. should have known then that uh, the moment we got in here, as I noticed we haven't been here other than in Angela's own prologue, that there, sh there would be here a lot of those uh, items. Left is the basement. Wasn't there in the basement like an area where there were like chests behind? Uh... <coughs> behind the gate or something? Or was it another uh, dungeon? <coughs> Alright, can't get up there through here. I think this was a dungeon uh, if we have taken Angela as the main character or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure once we get all of them I'm gonna use a magical rope to get out of here. But you guys know my philosophy by now. If I can get an item or do a level I will do them together with you. And this place, this dungeon, these sewers or whatever you want to call it, are pretty well designed. So it's really nice just walking through this place. And if there were enemies, I wouldn't mind. It would just give me some extra cash, money, or abilities that we can get to a higher point. Because there's still a lot of cash, a lot of levels we still need. So. I don't mind uh, getting into uh, a few of extra good fights, you know what I mean? <gasps> and I'm still contemplating on uh, where will we try to grind a few levels. I was thinking about uh, going to the two new continents that we haven't been to because they are actually of the other storyline. Uh, with a little bit of luck, the enemies would have leveled up with us and proved to be a sufficient challenge for us. To gain a few of those levels, or at least uh, so I hope. So we might be able to check it after we got to class level four, and we know where we need to be to find in these three silver item seeds. These are really good items. Okay, so where do we need to be? One more. Two more, three more, okay, they're all in our vision. Good. And like I said before, uh, after Anise. Once we find her, once we beat the living daylights out of her, because I'm pretty sure we need to fight her, she's probably like some gigantic evil unleashed upon the world. Or at least uh, Kroa made it sound uh, like that. I think after we defeated it, I think after we defeat her... And, uh, okay, we cannot interact. Uh, we also have one more enemy at the Mirage Palace we need to defeat. Unless we need, we have the option to. 
So I really would like to try. And more cup of wishes. Well, if we are getting this many items, I might as well just use these instead of buying new ones. Alright. Exit is not too far away. So I guess it's now time to get to the labyrinth and see how big this new trial is and what we actually need to do. Is the trial a fight or is the trial uh, like a dungeon where we need to show them our wits in order to prove to the sphere itself that we are smart enough, bright enough, powerful enough to handle uh, the sphere with somewhat respectable um, abilities. We can hope. <laughs> Pop up of the Benevolence. Nah, they're no longer a problem here. We already take care of those. Alright, so it should be right here. Yes, very close by. And there was not a part in the labyrinth that I couldn't get to before, so I wonder where the gate toward the trials is. Probably going to be some uh, unimpressive ice wall that we just walked past <laughs> when we were here earlier. Or it could be at the exact same place where we fight, fought the Benevolence. If that's the case, I'm hoping there's still going to be a teleport here at the beginning, just like uh, with the other uh, places. Entrance here when we came before. Uh, probably, I think. This must be the entrance to the trial of queenship my mother opened for me. Don't worry, mother. I can handle this on my own. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Says handle on their own and then goes inside with all other party members. That's not how it goes. What sort of trial is waiting for you? I don't know. But one thing is certain. No matter what happens, I am going to complete this trial. I know this will make my mother proud of me. Well, the thing is, Angela, I think it's more important that you are proud of yourself for completing such a massive trial. Okay, it looks like a boss area. Okay, so let's uh, put our game faces on. Let's do this. Trial of Queenship. Is this it? What? what is that? Everyone, watch out! Is that me? So the Trial of Queenship is overcoming yourself? <laughs> Fine, I can do this. I can be better than myself. I can even be better than my mother. This is my chance, and I won't let it go to waste. Ha. A copy can't hope to replicate all this. I'll show you what I can really do. Ha, ha, ha.
Let's keep on pushing. I sort of have been a little bit quiet with this fight because I've been doing it so much right now that I'm just trying to get uber focused on trying to defeat her. Because there is so many unfair uh, disadvantages in this uh, fight that I cannot allow myself to be distracted. Can I get attacked? There's absolutely nothing you can do uh, for it, nothing to avoid it, because no matter where you stand, even if you are miles away from the area of attack that's shown on the ground, you'll get hit. I already tried looking into using the rings of the Benevodons, but she uses such a variety of attacks that the, the decrease in magical defense is not worth uh, half damage of one of the uh, attacks she's using, so I refrain from uh, using it now and just purely try to base my entire uh, defense on physical attacks, because uh, there is no charge uh, to using your physical attack. Every magical attack will uh, need for you to charge it up, and that uh, charge in itself is what screws you over. Because it will give uh, your counterpart the ability to uh, basically give a magic attack back to you where you cannot roll out of anymore. And there are some of those attacks that are really, really, really hard. Like, I mean, like, almost uh, completely wiping uh, yourself. Over there. No, no chance of doing anything than just uh, taking it here. And as far as I've seen, I can do like two level three attacks before I need to focus on using my uh, charges to just getting the hell out. Oh, that was lucky. Trying to get as many strikes in, and then using my charge uh, in the invincibility uh, frame. You know what I mean. Oh, thank god. Yeah, you, you need to make sure you're not on the edge. Oh, that blessing really did help me. Oh, miss time, miss time, miss time. Come on, you can do this. Just a little bit more, we can do this. Right. Finish it! Yes! Oh, you have no idea how many times I needed to do that in order to get this far. I think it was like eight attempts, and the last four is were inches away from uh, depleting her HP. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I loved it. I... I did it! My own mother couldn't manage this, but I overcame the trial of queenship! I was strong enough! Ah! What? Are you hurt? I'm... I'm fine. I... 
was just startled. It feels like the magic within me is overflowing. Oh, I get it. This must be proof that I completed the trial of queenship. <laughs> proof of my birthright. All right. Let's go back to Altena and talk to my mother. All right. Uh, so happy with that. It's just quite ironically that the only way to defeat yourself is not by using magic, but just blunt force trauma. That's it. Oh well. I'm glad uh, I managed to get there, and I did love the fight. It it, it was it was challenging trying to figure out a tactic that actually worked, impl implementing it, trying different uh, things out just trying to get through it. And yes, it took me a lot of tries to get through it. It made me rage, but I like it. it certain fights just need to be challenging, needs to be feel accomplished when you uh, beat it. It's the same in other games. Yeah, some games that are ridiculously hard through the entire thing. But the moment you get past those difficult points, oh, it feels amazing. And that's what I had with this as well. Because there were a few attempts that I really threw my controller back on my table, like, you know what? Screw this. <laughs> but uh, I never stopped trying. Because each and every time I learned something new. I used every kind of magic, I saw the damage, I learned that Thunder was the most magical damaging attack there was. Because it did 4 times 140, which is, let us say, a lot in that fight. But it also uh, blocks you from uh, avoiding certain other attacks, making you use a lot of healing items just to be able to survive. So yeah. That way, you just make a plan to go towards it. That's how I learned melee attacks. That's the way to go. Same way I learned that uh, rings didn't matter because I used it. And the damaging moments I got were more because of the lower magic defense than the halving of one of those attacks. So yeah. Like, I like those things. The thing is you really need to think about what you actually are going to do in order to uh, overcome it. So yeah, if you guys did the same fight with Angela, let me know below how you did it. Did you resort to uh, melee as well, or did you use your magic attacks? I'm extremely curious about it. And now we have all the chests in this uh, village as well. We just need to get back to the queen and force her to give me that sphere. <laughs> and then uh, we'll learn uh, where it is, how we can uh, upgrade ourselves to class 4. Maybe it does happen when you have all three together or we need to go to a pedestal. And hopefully we'll figure out where Anise the Witch is actually hiding. Because maybe that's a separate level altogether. And then, then we do that fight, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a challenging one as well. Hello, girls. Just coming through. Angela, you have completed the trial admirably. Now, touch the Sage Sphere. You have returned the Sage Sphere back to its former glory. 
Altanish legend says that with this, you can unlock the powers that Master Grand Qua developed long ago. Class 4. Angela. I am so proud that you are my daughter. Mother. No matter what, know this. You are the true heir to the throne of Altena. Take courage in your accomplishments. I will. There's something I have to do. Excuse me. Remember, this will always be your kingdom and your home. Come back to us, my Angela. With this Sage Sphere, I can become Class 4. Your bond with the True Queen has granted you a new ability. True Protection. Increases magic attack and magic defense when battle starts. And there's the Sage Sphere. Nice. Now you found all the class items! Let's go back to Grand Croix! Alright, but as you might have imagined, I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. And why did I jump out over here? Okay. So, next episode we're gonna go back to the library of Felsina. We're gonna talk to Master Lacroix. Maybe even using the spheres right there, right then. But I wouldn't be too surprised if we need to go to a certain location where all power comes together, like some sort of ley line, and then activate the power to get us to class level 4. And then, maybe Kwa can uh, teach us where Anise is and we can challenge her. At that point, we need to decide if we're gonna attempt it, or if we're gonna grind out a few more levels and get that stats up a little bit more in order for us uh, to get that sweet, sweet extra uh, power. Because I do believe that we are quite powerful. Are we powerful enough to defeat the most powerful witch in this uh, universe? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out, maybe next time. So come back, as next time we're gonna go use those class items, track down the knees and see if we can be getting daylights out of her. But it's gonna be next time, until then I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time, bye bye.